welcome back to another YouTube video. I'm very excited for this one because I am finally doing another Shein haul. So my last one was like a couple of months ago and it was just a really great haul and a lot of the clothes I used for a very long time and they just had like very key details in certain parts of my life so I'm super excited to be doing this one again I think I had done a part two but it wasn't the same so maybe part three but this is my other Shein haul so let's get right into the video without further ado so I actually got two Shein packages um one that I ordered myself and one that my mother ordered, 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 and hers is way bigger. Hold on. There might, okay, I got a lot of clothes on my floor, and my dog likes to just drop some nukes wherever she wants, so we have to be careful, but anyways, here is the one I ordered, so it's smaller, but I want to do this one today, and we'll do maybe we'll include some for my mom's package so let's go put on the first outfit okay so when i saw this on the side it looked really interesting this is the first outfit um i thought it looked really cute because it had the hood and it looks super unique um and i still think it looks really great i think that it's true to what was on the website i have my tank top under so i'm gonna go ahead and take that off i i put it i kept it on because honestly this is like one of those shirts that like goes down kind of like where your like boobs are. So I just expose anything. So yeah, look at it. I really like the back. I think the back would be like the best part to try to basically like show off because I feel like that really makes the look unique. And if anything, you can put the hood down and pull it back like that. But I don't know, that doesn't look too good. This is definitely for girls with bigger boobs. Girls with boobs on the bigger side. So yeah. Um, but I like it. It works. It's cute. I like the hood. And it's definitely great for the season since it's winter. So it's super like a snow queen. Like kind of like a from a shark boy and lava girl, that ice queen. This is what that looks like. But yeah, let's go right into the next outfit. Okay, I am so happy with this second piece, this dress is absolutely gorgeous i saw it on the model and she had such a great figure like an hourglass figure eight and of course her boobs were way bigger than mine but it still looks great i got it in like an extra extra small i have shorts under so if you're seeing any kind of sort of lines that's why but other than that it looks amazing and it has these like little um ruffles at the end i think they're so great and it would go great with heels it's just super nice uh, another great festive dress like for christmas basically it's still very cute and sexy but it's also very red and very classy at the same time great for christmas so i like it i like it a lot and it's or flamenco so yeah um there, i don't have anything bad to say about this dress except Maybe the back looks a little bit odd there. Like they could have like done something like that maybe, but whatever. More coverage, which is better because you're more comfortable. So yeah, let's go into the next outfit. So this is like a bathing suit, but I thought I could use it as like a two piece set, but I guess not. And it's also a little bit big here, um, but I have to tighten the straps and then maybe it will look better. Um, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go into the next. So these ones I was really excited for because they're jumpsuits, uh, but it was supposed to be like that and nice and cute in the back and that's that's how it came y'all. So just make sure you know like what's gonna really be a hit or a miss because I got this in like, I don't even know, I think extra small or small and it that's it's just not doing it like i don't know it needed to be tight because i feel like the tighter something is the more it can stretch so it's <laughs> inclusive to all body types um but if it's big like this 
and it's made for like that bigger body, it's gonna not work for the smaller bodies. Whereas if it's smaller, it can stretch the bigger body and still fit on the small body. So if I was gonna take pictures in this, I would literally just have to tie it to the back and then just take the pics. Um, so don't believe everything you see on social media, y'all. Cause look at that. And look at the bottom. It's like a bell bottoms when it's really not supposed to be like that. But it's cute, it would be cute if it actually fit me. But I did something, right? I did like a little design in the back. Don't fucking steal that shit. I'm copywriting it, okay? Anyways, yeah, let's go on to the next outfit. So again, these are one of those like really hit or misses. Uh, because it looks super cool on the model, but then you just don't know what you're gonna get for you. So I like it. Um, it could be these little cuts here can be a little bit tighter, but I genuinely think that it wasn't like manufactured like this. Like I think that they got a gray dress and then made the cuts. Like they literally cut it, cut, 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 cut. and like that's it. Like every cut is gonna be different too. Like I got this one in green and we're gonna see if the cuts are literally the same because maybe they are. But these genuinely feel like, I don't know, like like they were just cut with scissors. So yeah, I don't know. It's cute, but it could be better. Anything can always be better, right? Like you can always be thinner, look better. Anyways, let's go on to the next outfit. Okay, so the next top I got was this white top. They always go really great with these shorts because it's just basics, you know? Black shorts with a white tee. Also, should I show you that? Like, I don't know, my girlies, like, is that ugly? Like, I don't know. It just makes me feel, I think it's ugly, but, like, if it's not a bad thing, then I wouldn't, like, shave it because then I know it'll just grow back more. But anyways, yeah, I saw a lot of people getting these basics, and I think they're pretty essential and I think that they look really cute, uh, depending on what you pair them with. So this one was definitely, um, a bag. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it was good. Like, it was worth it, and it was a great gift. Um, it's a little bit see-through, but we manage. And yeah, with a bra, it'll look even cuter. So yeah, let's go on to the next outfit. I got this top, and it's really interesting with these shorts, because... It just is like it it looks so cool because the shorts are just like the same thing as the top right here um so I think that's so funny how I just like didn't plan for that to happen and it just did but yeah this is it it's just like uh these other shirts that I had bought like maybe in the first Shein haul uh but they were backless so it actually like kind of flipped like this whole open thing was in the back and now it's covered I hear somebody knocking Anyways, yeah, this is the top, and I like it very much. It fits pretty great, and some may say it's ugly, but you just have to know how to style it, and it's definitely interesting. And then, if anything, I could always scrunch this under. That's a little bit much, but maybe for, like, the beach or something. That would be a little bit cray-cray. We'll just keep it down. Anyways let's go on to the next outfit keep this outfit done so with materials like rubber or fox leather fake leather it's always a hit or a miss because it's fake so you just don't know how well it's going to be made i am just a little bit disappointed in this one maybe if i had bigger boobs like then it would be out more but i don't know it's still good i don't think it's like the worst so far i think the worst was that gray jumpsuit but it's not bad i mean it just needs a little fixing, right? Like that audio. It just needs a little adjustment. Um, maybe buy the straps and I can make it work. I really want it to work, but you're gonna have to like buy some skins for like $100 a piece if you want real latex. So yeah, if you're willing to just like tie shit to the back and take your photos, that's great. But it's just for photos because you cannot wear this outside and get away with it. It'll look terrible. But yeah, it's cute. I wanted it to work, but I don't know. It's, it's all right. It's okay. Yeah, it's cute. Let's go on to the next outfit. So I was also super excited for this one. Um, it's definitely one of those hit or misses. It's just like the pink one. It's like this rubber latex. This one's more so like the pink, but this one's got kind of like the same feel going on. Um, I wanted to get this one so badly because I actually designed 
clothes with this company empty soda that had a heart in the middle just like this so that's pretty funny and then um i saw the girl pair it up with a black skirt so i was like let me just do it so this is kind of cute i don't think it's the worst always could be a little bit tighter um but if you're fine with it being just a bit baggy and not totally like secure suctioned onto your body like a freaking one of those things where you like uh suck the air out of your package and it literally compresses it into like flat bread literally that's how i want my clothes on my body so i want them vacuumed on but um if you don't like that then this is fine for you but i still like it i can make it work i could definitely just tie it to the back um and then when i have to do for the back photo i do it to the front there's a little hack if you didn't know and this bodysuit looks good on its own and i don't have to wear it with this high rise skirt i can always make it low rise as well and that looks super interesting on it that's super interesting on its own super cute i like it y'all it's super 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 cute okay anyways yeah let's go on to the next outfit and it's comfortable i was also super excited for this dress they are very very revealing but it's cute uh i like it it's white and i i feel like it would be great for the night and with the flash so all these beautiful rhinestones which they are there look at that could uh, be brought out with the flash and here is the back and I'm have my nails painted white so this is also another one that can be super cute for winter super festive it's so cute and shiny and sparkly like the ice queen and then I have these shoes to go with it that would be cute right uh I need pasties though so that's why I cannot like that's the front but I really need pasties with this so yeah this is super cute definitely a 10 out of 10 but let's go on to the next outfit i say that you have to wear those without panties so i would just wear something like this to the beach because if you're not one that's really comfortable going commando i think the word is i wouldn't do it and i don't really like doing it unless i have to for these dresses but yeah just letting you know just remember if i have it in one color i have it in the other especially when it's a basic so I got the white, but I also got the pink, which was, in fact, more popular, shockingly. I think that that's shocking because white is such a basic color. You feel like everyone would have it, but actually the pink was more popular, and I see why. It's a very cute color, and it's so, like, it's not in your face, but it is in your face, and it stands out. I think because people really like it because it kind of looks like the Mean Girls pink. Like, I've never seen something be so spot on to that Mean Girls color, and this is. And it goes so perfect with these Skims shorts. These are all from Skims. Like, these shorts that I wear are all the time from Skims. I think they're called boy shorts, but people like to call them underwear, and they're freaking not. They can be used as underwear, but they're not underwear. They are shorts, and they can be worn to sleep. They can be worn to the gym, in my opinion to dance class which i do so that's what i'm saying it's normal for me don't come for me the shorts are not small i mean they are small but they're appropriate okay okay and i'm almost 18 years old so i can wear whatever i want anywho and if my parents are fine with it then you don't need to be concerned so thank you very much it goes super cute with these white nails and if i had like a pink skirt or even this black skirt the black latex skirt that, I think Regina or Katie even wore something like this. Like, I could quite literally do a freaking Mean Girls cosplay in here. But, yeah, it's super cute. I like it a lot. I know this one will be a lot of people's favorite because um, it definitely is one of mine. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to probably buy more in this, like, this uh, shirt but in different colors because it is so pretty. But, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the next outfit. So, really quick, look at that tree that I made. It's so cute. I'm going to turn it on. It lights up. <laughs> it's so cute, right? It lights up. Okay, the candy cane fell off. I just got Ariana Grande perfume. 
which I wanted to spray some. But anyways, I wanted to just pause because I got jewelry and I want to try it on up close with this shirt. I feel like it's the most uh, convenient and appropriate to wear when trying on jewelry. So yeah, and I just want to show you the little Ariana Grande perfume. It was gifted to me for my 17th birthday by my grandma. So yeah, it smells really good too. Prep our neck. It's a little bit strong. Nothing I can't handle though. I'm a freaking master when it comes to smells. Just ask my mother. I got like 20 perfumes up in this bitch. I got any kind you want. Male, female, unisex, hair care, lotion, perfume, cologne. Anything you need, bro. I got it in this room. Anyways, I got a variety of crosses because if you can't tell, I love crosses because I am a Catholic and I believe Jesus died on the cross for us. I believe in the Holy Trinity, God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Um, but I've been, I had a cross and then it broke and I've been waiting to find my one again, so... Let's try it on one and see if we find the one. I'm not wearing because I love the moon, whatever. But I really want the cross to match with my two crosses on my ears. So let's try it. And I used to be wearing silver, but now I'm wearing gold. But I still, for some reason, have a place in my heart for silver. So hopefully we can find something silver. I did buy, I think, a lot of gold because I have the golden earrings. But we'll see. So this is a... I like to do it to the tightest one, too. Just so that... It's like more of a choker. I want a choker really badly. That's what I want. Um, but this level is fine. This is cute. I think this one's cute. And I like that it has a little pendant. I'm going to go in. It has a little pendant with it. Um, I don't know what's on the pendant, actually. I can't see. Something good because I know I would see it before I buy it. Um, and then the cross. All right, rate this one. Help me. You guys help me pick which necklace so that's number one let's go into the second one i thought it was pretty unique because it was like kind of like a rosary but a necklace a gold rosary also like if it could be more back like that that would be great but i don't know um it's definitely not my favorite one but it's not my least favorite yet so this won't be the one that i wear forever it's just too long for me um but i could definitely use it for some photos so yeah let's go into the next why did i torture myself buying this many necklaces it's how hard it is to like just put them on how much of a hassle it is that's why i just want one and i never take it off until it breaks like the last one that's my goal just gotta find the golden one the one not the golden one the silver one watch me pick out a gold one and 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 watch me pick out a silver one and match it with my golden earrings which would kind of be tacky um and i said wait i need to wait for that feeling of like that's the so this one I might like the most honestly so far it's just super small and simple and that's what I like about it it has the cross it's silver it's everything I want but uh, we still got two more to try on so let's see let's see if the others are better let's give it a try I could also layer them too like I could actually like mix and match them but there's just so many possibilities. This is why math is important, because we know that there is multiple ways to solve a problem, right? I mean, this is not a problem, but it could be a problem if I want it to be. I think I got a bracelet. It's like this infinity bracelet. This is very pretty, actually. I like this a lot. Uh, and look at the way you tighten it, too. So cool. Super cool. Hi. Yes? What are you doing? What does it look like? Yeah. Your necklace. I kind of like this because it's like means infinite love, whatever. Um, but I don't like it better than the cross. Infinite love, yeah. Make a wish and put on your necklace. A life that is full of love is full of endless possibility. Wear your necklace as a reminder that with love there are no limits. That is true. Love overpowers hate all the time. I see so many people try to ruin people with their anger, with their hate, with their ugliness, and it just never works. It, love always power backs, so I really like that this is like has a positive message uh, attached to it, but I still like the cross. Love and prosperity. 
Anyways, I like this one too, but it kind of just looks like a chain. If you don't know what is on it, it's super small, but it's the infinity sign. Um, I can use any of these whenever I feel like it, but I think I'm going to go with the silver cross. That is the winner. Um, but you guys let me know which one you think is the best. I still think that the cross has more of a feeling and a emotional attachment to it. So, at least for me. Even though I like infinite love as well. Just not today. Not probably ever. <laughs> because that cross stands for infinite love for me. So, why would I need the infinity sign? Anyways. Put the moon back on. But let's get back into the last few articles of clothing. Well, I'm actually going to leave the long sleeve shirt on just to see how I would look with it. But it's really not pretty. Let's take it off. I think that the two most utter fails of this haul are the bodysuits. They are just no good. What is going on here? It's like, it's, well, I just ate, so I'm a little bit bloated, but it just doesn't fit correctly. I don't know what's going on here. Buy things from, like, skims and stuff like that when you're going to buy stuff like this. And I don't even know how I can make this one look good because I just don't know. Like, I don't even know. It's, like, baggy... Whatever, let's go into the last outfit of the haul. Okay, so this is the last dress and I put it on the way that you're supposed to wear it with no panties. So this is it and I guess it is the same design. Hold on. This could actually possibly be the way to wear it. It's just so revealing. I don't know why I got this. Maybe I expect, I don't know what I expected. It's cute, but it's super revealing. Like, I think I would just wear this over a bathing suit. But, yeah, guys, this is the last outfit of the haul. I have way more to go through, um, but that will be in the next haul. So, yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. Do not forget to click that subscribe button down below while you are at it. Let me know which outfit was your favorite. And also, same for the jewelry piece. Um, yeah. Stay tuned for the next Jan haul. I will see you guys in the next one. God loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. The Holy Spirit loves you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Tell the truth. Bye.